Hello, this is the first of a series of short lectures on emotional intelligence. I'm James Thurtle and I'm an associate of the campaign company. Emotional intelligence was a term coined by Daniel Goldman in his groundbreaking book Emotional Intelligence. Goldman became interested in the question of what makes people successful and more particularly why intelligence or IQ is a poor predictor of personal success. Goldman came to the realization that actually is a whole series of personal qualities which he grouped together under the term emotional intelligence that often leads to greater or lesser success. Emotional intelligence is generally defined as the ability to manage one's own emotions and the emotions of others. It actually brings together a, a range of different abilities such as the ability to have insight into your own emotions, to have empathy for the emotions of other people, the ability to form and maintain personal relationships, the ability to remain positive and motivated, to have high self-confidence and good problem-solving skills. When Goldman defined this term, he started to investigate how effective it was at predicting who would be more successful. What he found was that IQ, raw intellect, essentially acts as a gateway condition to success, meaning that in order to uh, achieve a particular level of success within an organisation or within a particular career path, one needs a particular level of intelligence. However, having more intelligence doesn't necessitate no, it doesn't necessarily mean that one will be more successful. In fact, at the highest levels of business and the highest levels of success in career, it tends to be one's personal qualities that lead to real success. That, that's because it comes down to the ability to form relationships, to work in teams, to demonstrate good leadership, and to have the tenacity to stick at a task even when it becomes difficult. Now this idea of emotional intelligence may seem somewhat complicated, but in actual fact we all have a good instinctive meaning, understanding of what it means. We can all recognise those people we know with a good level of emotional intelligence. People with good emotional intelligence are easy to get along with, easy to befriend, they speak appropriately in given social or personal situations, they are well motivated, they're optimistic, they can stick at a task when, even when it becomes difficult. Likewise, people with poor emotional intelligence are also easy to recognise. They may be crass or arrogant, they may be uh, severely introverted, they may have difficulty uh, motivating themselves, sticking at a task, they may be unduly pessimistic or simply unduly unhappy. So we all have this sense of what emotional intelligence is. But one of the key things about emotional intelligence is that it isn't fixed. We can learn to be more emotionally intelligent and we can learn tactics to act in a more emotionally intelligent way. Unlike IQ, which is generally seen as being fixed over a lifetime, I, uh, emotional intelligence can and should be developed and can be an important contributor to our general success in life, both professionally and personally.